Good morning, Turtle Club. It is 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is once again time for the Morning Korok Coffee. My name is Mag Synchro. That's my actual internet name, in case some of you guys are curious. Uh, I run a channel with my wife called Convertible Turtle Gaming. My last name is Dig Rap. We play a variety of games. Morning Korok Coffee is our series about the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Hey, Zach Rob, how's it going? We're getting everything set up here, guys. And boy, if you uh, if you live in the southeast, um, I can vouch that it is cold outdoors. We had a little bit of a chill snap go through. I'm just, boom. How's it going today? Catwater, glad to see you there. James, glad to see you too, sir. And Catwater was on our stream yesterday. She was skunking us left and right, along with Neo Kid. And, uh, God, we had so many people. Vulcan, I mean, Mario Kart was just there. All right, well, cool, James. Totally understand, man, that you got school and school-like activities that happen. So let me go ahead and pull up here. I've got a little early today. Ride your bike to school. Oh, wow, Zakharov. Um... I'm glad you are somewhere where you can actually bike to school. Because, uh, dude, it's cold out where I am. It is beyond cold where I'm in. All right, so we were on our way to get all the blue chew that was the blue chew. I think we ended up at C3. Alpha on the side. And then the numbers on the top. And I'm, I hope I'm remembering that right, because I'd hate to say that that was it. Um, let's see here. I got I got Hobbs's notes. A3, A6, A7, B1, C1. And... So, yeah. Yay, Hobbs is here. Hey, good morning, Hobbs. Glad to see you, man. Glad to see you. All right, so we were on our way. See, what's this? This is C1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is C5, I'm pretty sure. So we need to go at this point all the way up to C1. Or did we already get C1? I can't remember. As I have. You know me, I have really spotty memory. Really spotty. But I hope all you guys are enjoying the month of October. We have uh, an event for many people starting this Tuesday called Halloween. Of course, on the 1st, for many people, it's All Saints Day. Um, we're not really... You know us, we kind of don't do anything for events that are any kind of holidays. You know, I had one of our actual viewers kind of ask me that in and discord in a private conversation and the reason why is because we, we try to be open we try to be very open and one of the things that openness happens to do is well if you're going to actually help celebrate or build up or anything else for one group you also have to do it for the other group similarly if you're on a negative slant you go to you know, strike people down um, you kind of have to do that to everybody. I mean, it's, some people don't know how to build up, so they break down. And so, um, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Easter, um, even Labor Day, Arbor Day, and all those kind of things that we have in the United States, we really try not to do um, an exclusionary kind of celebration. And that's, that's not anything, you're all spotting the face cam to the left. Yeah, I actually noticed that. That is the... That's the porch light, man. That right there, right here. Um, yeah, right here. It's like the uh, the lamp light all the way in the back of my apartment. It's it's diffused to the green screen and all that. I didn't notice it <laughs> when I was setting up for the stream about three minutes ago, and so I apologize, guys. It's gonna it's kind of gonna be there for a little bit. Uh, if you wanna give me a second. I can run back and shut that light off if it's going to drive a couple of you guys as crazy as it's going to drive me. Matter of fact, I left my coffee mug back on the, the kitchen counter too. Guys, I am off to a rip-roaring begin for today. 
So what we're going to do is let's go over here, make sure that I am correct that I got the chew over here already. Because I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, there he is. Did we get your blue? Yeah, we did. All right. So we'll be right back, guys. One quick second. I'm going to get my coffee. <laughs> or actually my tea and my chai latte because, boy, it's cold in here. And I'm going to go ahead and get that light taken care of. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, guys, I'm back. I see the best chair at gaming is playing. Yes, Drew, the best chair at gaming is playing. I went to get that light. It's gone now, guys, so there's no more little miniature sun there. Oh, and that hits the spot, guys. When it is when it is cold out, according to... <laughs> Boy, I wish it was 56 degrees in Georgia, man. It is 32 degrees outside right now. It is colder than snot. All right, so there's our C1. I think we got B1 because I think we just started going up and down. Oh, guys, man, my... Ever since I switched to this chai latte for my morning drinking ritual, it just... My brain kind of catches up. It says, hey, hey, hey. These are not the energy drinks. And I'm expecting. I think I need. To, you think I'm gonna work for this? 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 Let's try tea. I still need B1. Okay, Hobbs. Good. I knew I was coming up this way for some reason instead of snaking down the bottom and going up. So yeah. And guys, uh, just to point out, it's Monday. Tomorrow's the last day on Save versus Shave. So if you have any say in the matter. There's a lot of you that have a say in the matter. Pull your resources together. If not, then don't worry. And then we'll be able to start no shave in the winter. Okay, this looks like the uh, the same bomb I always run into. Okay. As long as we're consistent, right? We keep exploding ourselves in the same place. We should be all right. I would like to think I can get up the ladder. Come on, up the ladder. Up the ladder. Maybe there's a blue chew up here. Maybe there's not. Actually, let's go to the map. Um, Star Island's probably where, had, where it's at, so... This guy just sat and watched his buddies get smacked. He didn't even watch. Oh, off the edge he goes. C6, E2, F7, and G6. Okay. Golden Feather. Hmm. I know we, we have a quest to give them to somebody, don't we? Or did we do that already? Let's check our spoils bag to see how many we have. I know Hobbs probably knows. 
We're at 13. We probably have to get like 30 or 500 or something. Let go. Dunk myself in the water. And come back. So, so here on, we're on Star Island. Actually, exit on there. Map. In this direction. There's Star Island. Look at Jump. Jump. The storm is just making jump, jump. Alrighty. Oh, choo choo, where are you? We are looking for blue chews. We are looking for blue chews. We are looking for blue chews in that song yeah. that leave my head. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, youngest niece and Nick Jr. Yeah. Actually, oldest niece. I said that backwards. Huh. Do -do -do -do. Unless it's down in the cave. Well, when in doubt, the mag synchro way is to blow everything to pieces. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Wait a second. That's weird. Oh. Ha -ha. I don't know how. Wow, I didn't even realize the stick would do that when I was out and about like that. Okay. Alright, so B1's down. That's a heck of a zoom, guys. I mean, goodness. That is one heck of a zoom. Alright. So C6, E2... E2, Brutu. A, B, C, D, E. Right there, we find. So, yeah, C6, E2, F7, G6. That's. Yeah, I actually copied your notes and posted them on Notepad Hobbs because I knew, I knew by the time I put to bed and got up and hung out with Digrat on her stream and all of that jazz that I would have been rubbish for remembering where all this were. I'm, I'm fidgety this morning, guys. I'm fidgety. It's the best way I can say it. Alright, let's see here. Print Island, so let's see what's on the Paw Print Island. Is it just me, or is there something just really bad about there being a blue chew on a Paw Print Island? Well, that song is stuck in my head. There's not a blue chew there. Let's see if there's one over here, guys. Hi! Can you hit me again? Ah, they got the aim like a stormtrooper, guys. It ain't gonna work in anything for us.
No, it might be one of these itty bitty islands, yeah. like a tea bag guys well let's get on the red lion maybe get a bit better uh, purchase there we go hello blue chew no blue chew there but we're gonna go ahead and make sure we absolutely absolutely Get our boomerang ready. What? Okay. I guess we have to do this island by island with Red Lion. Sounds like a talk show out, doesn't it? Welcome to Island by Island with your host, Red Lions. Is that Mikey keeping tradition alive? That was Mikey keeping tradition alive. Oh, I almost got it. I almost got it. <laughs> yeah, it is, uh, it is getting pretty uh, cold and sleepy out, Drew. Cold and sleepy. That and it's Monday. I mean, you got to remember it's a Monday stream, guys. So a lot of people that we normally would say hello to possibly getting ready for school and with it being really cold across most of the country they're probably having to get up early start their cars leave their car up if they got work well hmm maybe is this the chew cave is that what where we at is this the chew cave where I go down and there's all the chews and it was it looked like a, a horror movie and Is there actually a blue chew around here somewhere? Maybe not. Yeah, this is the blue chew cave. This is the cave. It's like pods from alien. I was pretty certain I explored all this on an earlier stream. But you know, I'm not one to argue with Hobbit's notes. Somewhere in here, in the Valley of the Shoes, we will shoot kill all of them. think it's in the cave. Okay. Well. Hmm. That. That could be a problem then. And she puts the lotion on its skin or at least gets the hose again. Oh, that's... You know, that's that's not a bad movie. Um, it's definitely a frightening movie. Anthony Hopkins did a very um, convincing job with that character. Wow. There's just not, you can't really say it anything else than that, right? Anthony Hopkins did a really convincing job with the character that he was. But it kind of stuck him in the hole for a very long time.
maybe by the blue, the Jewish looking tree. You know, James, I kind of thought that, but I walked around that tree and it didn't do anything, so I'm, I'm at least going to do this cave. Because it's going to be thorough. That's one thing we try to be here. We try to we try to confirm, right? I mean Hobbs is pretty certain the hole at the base of it though. Oh, that's right, there was a hole at the base of that thing. Though I think the hole at the base of that is like the exit to this cave. Cause I wanna say See there's the the bomb that we blasted through there. Let me come in there. Just double checking, guys. When dealing with Zelda puzzles, you need to treat them like zombies and you need to double check. You never know if you've actually cleared the whole entire thing or not. He did a good job as Alfred Hitchcock. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But again, I mean, Hitchcock was such a uh, interesting character. Why not show by the stone head on top of the island? Okay. Sweet. Hobbs, man, your, your notes are just super awesome. Well, we will never see what that sign had to say. know the blue chews will respawn. So it's not a question of if he'll spawn or not. It's just if he'll drop his goodies. Getting to look a lot like we have picked this over. Well, this platform has definitely been picked over. Is it possible that the Chew won't spawn during the night, or that the Chew won't spawn while the ship's bombing at us? I mean, that's a thought that I hadn't given much to, but. Jump or back flip onto the stone head. Um, not that one, clearly. <laughs> well, that was neat. Oh my goodness. Wow. That that was awesome, Hobbs. That was awesome. That that I would have never thought of that in a million years. Wow. 
Well then, uh, that's uh, yeah, that is that is some pretty cool stuff. That reminds me of uh, some of the stuff. You know, and Nintendo's been doing this for years, guys. Nintendo has been doing, I want to say trolly things, because that's not exactly trolly. Uh, let's see, we need F7. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and G6. So let's uh, let's go to the Forest Haven. But Nintendo's been putting like little, you you find it way cool kind of things in their games forever. Like um, I was watching a video of a guy on Super Mario Odyssey. He did this insane, crazy jump. I mean. Like the quintuple dive hat jump thing, right? And Super Mario Odyssey, like I said, it's not one that I think I'm gonna play. It looks fun for someone else to play it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's it's really stylistic. It's all hoo ha yah ha, and all the other really awesome things that Mario does when he's ground pounding and throwing his hat at stuff. But it looks like it would require a lot of, what's the word I'm looking for? Focus. Lots and lots of focus, lots and lots of being completely just. And I, I just don't think that's a, you know, personally I'd play it maybe. Uh, let me throw that out there. I, I would personally play it on my own time, maybe, if I didn't have a game I was already doing, like, full-time off-stream. Um, it looks difficult, not sure. See, that, that's, I, I think I could play it, Drew. I think I would have um, a good time playing it. It's just, I don't think anybody would have a good time watching me play it. Because it'd be like... Ha, 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 hoo. Baha, baha, you know, and me just doing this over and over and over again, and the timing jumps and all that kind of stuff, the skill jumps, it, it makes me really think about, um, back when I was playing Mario Maker, the Mario Maker stream was fun, I had a good time playing Mario Maker, it's not something that I would ever throw out, um, in fact, I... You know, it's on the Shipwreck Sunday map. Well, we can confirm that there's no blue chews there. No blue chews here. Yeah, Zach, Rob, e exactly. And so, um, you know, people... And it's something that I've told Digrat a lot of times. Um, you know, she she started streaming, and she enjoys streaming. And well, she enjoys playing the video game. She enjoys talking to everybody. She's still not a hundred percent sure exactly what it is that she does that people come by to watch. And I, I was telling her, you know, I was telling her, you know, people watch streams for two things. They watch to see a game, and that's what gets them to a location, right? I mean. Most of you guys that are here, you probably eventually came through Breath of the Wild streams. Or maybe through an ARC stream, because we used to play ARC once upon a time. And uh, so, you know, whoa, there's a hole there. <laughs> like, boom. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's lots of death. Okay. I, I vaguely remember this hole. I think we remember getting like all in this one. Stop, stop, stop blocking my boomerang, guys. There we go. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. 
Maybe I don't remember this hole at all. Maybe I didn't have the boomerang. That would be weird if I didn't have the boomerang when I came here last week. Where you have to have the boom shot to get up there, so this is a new place. Give me my loot, guys. But yeah, you know, uh, Mario, uh, Mario Maker was great. It was fun. I like playing everybody's... Oh, submarine chart. Nifty. We'll take that little piece of percentage point all the way to the bank. It's probably worth like point five on the top chart. Meanwhile, I would like to think that we can kill these guys. Alright, well, if we're going to be doing this over and over and over again, maybe we need to do this. Anymore? Maybe they just come ad nauseum. Surely Nintendo wouldn't put a, a farmable spot like that in the game. There's got to be an end to the craziness that is this room. Looks like I actually was able to marry it one more than once. Infinite mini blends. Uh, it could be. It could be hard. Kill them or not? Wow, I am I am pretty convinced at this point, guys, that this could in fact be just these dudes until the stream's over at this point. My gosh. So it's it's not an efficient way to farm, but if you are playing Wind Waker, this is the cave to go if you just want to turn on like an auto controller or something. Oh my gosh. had some other caves like this that we fought in, and we thought it was, you know, all oh, these guys just spawn and spawn and spawn, and eventually they stopped. But no, this is actually legit. It seems like it's just infinite wave after wave after wave. Huh. Alright, appreciate it, James. Yeah, this, uh... Huh. Yeah, I don't see this having ever an end, guys. But just as soon as I know where I get out of here. No, they just keep coming. Just when I think I killed the last one. That's interesting. Infinite little imp dudes. All right. Ha, ah, we just got his blue chew that way. <laughs> we don't need your stinking blue chew anymore. We got the 15 we need. There's one more to go get just for completion reasons.
Well, now I feel bad for just leaving him up there. Poor guy. That's right, we gotta... That is an interesting way to kill those guys, though. You get twice the loot off them that way. I know, Red Lions. You want me to go save your daughter. Actually, oh, whoops. Bam, oh, guys. We got one we still need. And we got two. Bam. Well, I know what we're doing after we get the blue chew. Uh, let's see here. We're going to this little thing. And that little thing. So, like, one looks like Orion, kinda. Switchy Switchy Island. Oh, wait a second. That was weird. Did you all see that? Like, over here? There's like a down arrow that I could, like, hum. I don't know if that's exactly what I thought it was or not, but here we go, starting on the journey of just being a journey. Hey, Chatley, how's it going, man? It was awesome to see you yesterday, sir. Sorry you weren't able to get in on the Mario Kart action. Did you get the chew from C6? I think I did. I think we started the stream with that. But I will absolutely go back just to double check. You know how we do it, guys. It's all about the confirmation. Well, that's good to know. We can actually do that to mailboxes. like a shark was trying to spawn yeah it kind of did drew i wasn't i mean it was really weird it was like one second it was there and then the next second poof i was like all right you want to do that maybe the boat we can grapple hook i know that there's like a little cave monstrosity puzzle kind of fun happy fun time inside of here but uh do we really need to go inside all that that's the big question right i'm guessing that the big answer is but yes we do 
But, you know, it never hurts to be absolutely sure. Alright, Red Lion, we need to go just a little closer. Alright. Yeah, Chadley, man, you missed some pretty good Mario Kart action yesterday. And if you guys are curious, Mario Kart was what the Shipwreck Sunday winner was. And the new Shipwreck map yep. is going to be updated, actually. Come to think of it, I already got that in place. I don't know if I got it on the stream yet, though. Nope, it's not on the stream yet, so give me just one second. So you guys can get an idea of where we're already heading. Well, I'm just not... Boom, alright. So you can see where the new six is going to land us at will be the world that is the Stanley Parable. I think three hours on Stanley's Parable would be enough for us to see quite a lot more content. Okay, Zekrob, no worries. I'm sure it won't be the last time you do Mario Kart. You are absolutely correct, Chadley. I, uh, I'm not good at Mario Kart, but man, if I don't enjoy it. It is. It is one of those games that I wasn't really good at it growing up, even. I was not anywhere near good growing up with it. But it was still one of those games that I thoroughly enjoyed. Interesting. Doing Mario like jumps. Chadley, I, I remember Chadley you saying that you was going to try to catch some of Dig Rat's stream. I, I don't remember you popping in saying hello, so I, I know, like myself, you have a uh, one of those situations where life just kind of happens while we make other plans. But then again, I know you're kind of like me too, and you don't have any problem going in and working. We have a chest that we didn't get? Oh my gosh. We're just checking things right off the list today, guys. Treasure chart. There we go. Nah, I just missed it. Yeah, she's she's pretty uh, specific on her stream times, man. She's, she goes right up for an hour, and after about an hour, she's usually done. I mean, it's it's just her attention span when it comes to games. So that you know, like I tell people all the time. Uh, Digrat and I, we the best way I can describe Digrat is she and I are opposites. And I could sit in this chair for 12 hours, done it twice. Not able to stick around, dropping a like and a hello. Hey, Huin, how's it going? Huin? Speaking of people that caught the stream last night, there's one of them. All right, so we are off to C6, which is a little dolphin looking island right yeah okay boom do, do, do. you know I keep looking up and I keep seeing oh that's what it is that's what it is of course, the camera's going to have to catch up to what I just did. There it goes. I'm used to, like, kind of, like, leaning forward a little bit and playing, and I keep noticing that my goatee was going, like, way down. It's because my chair got... Um, I don't know what the proper... It depressurized. You know, it got real cold outside, so these hydraulic kind of pieces of these chairs, they get affected by that.
matter how often I hear it, guys, the music for this game still sounds just heroic. I mean, I know this game gets a lot of flack by a lot of people for the art style and for the repetitiveness of it. Because, you know, and I can see the argument a little bit, a little bit, but I'm being reasonable. This is stream, what, 36? We're 80% of the way complete. Stream 36 on Breath of the Wild, we were like maybe 10 maybe 15 or 20 so there's there's a huge huge difference and yeah objectively let's use that word objectively the art is great hey christian how's it going and if you're if you're looking at this like wow this looks like a very stylistic interesting art style Oh my gosh, this looks really good. But you have to keep in mind that when this first came out, this was the first offering to gamers after after um, Majora's Mask. Ah, Misa Girl, welcome to the chat. Glad you agree. It, um... Yeah, it feels it feels like it, yeah, HD helped make the game look even better. Absolutely, Chadley, and the graphics were good. Um, it's just that people were coming back from Majora's Mask. We've already done the switch things. So we need to. Clearly, we need to get up there somehow. Wow. Interesting. There's nothing for miles around. I think this is going to be one that we have to get a, a seagull to do. But yeah, so people were coming off of the, the you know, Majora's Mask, which was, at the time, technologically and graphically, the most realistic Zelda game ever. And it went from that world where the hero was, in fact, uh, in a pretty horrible situation. Very dark, very gritty. Um... I wouldn't quite use the word evil for Majora's Mask Swirled, but very um, kind of emo almost even. So I guess. Well. We don't care about that sign as much as we thought we would. Okay, so. Um, is there a chew here? I, mean, I guess he could be down in the cave. Exactly. Exactly. Skull Kid felt pretty bad. I mean, the whole story was just... was de It was a better... You know, like a term, it was depressing. Um, and, you know, you felt bad. Hey, Princessa, how's it going? Oh, that's a weird bug. Guys, look, I still got my hammer out. Okay, wait a second. Does it swing the hammer? No, it doesn't. Oh, wow. Nintendo with the bugs. Well, I guess... Uh, hmm. Let's see if we have any uh, fruit for the pit for the guys. Let's go ahead and do this. That's going to right, Princessa. It's going to right. 
Hope you had a good time last night on Dig Rat Stream. There it is. There's the blue chew. Oh, wow. Come on, Blue Chew. Come down toward the hero. trying to do right now we are trying to get blue choo choo juice or jelly we're 100 percent in the game so guess guess all we have to do is just come over here and wait for them to come after me this way or maybe just grappling hook me Very interesting hubs. At least we got them to spawn. But uh, we will absolutely try that. make a difference if it was daytime. I, I don't know if it will or not, but we'll make it day. We will absolutely change the sun here. Because this is really weird. Now, on the bright side, 15 chew is what we believe we need. Well. It has made a difference in so much that everything respawned on us. We got one more pair left. Let's do our little balance trick. Such an angry blue chew jelly. I mean... There's anywhere else.
right, so. I should have gotten the. There we go. That got us the blue chew. Oh. Oh, guys. I think I know how to do this now. I think I know how to do this now. Boy, this is going to be epic. And by epic, I mean probably the last thing we do on the stream today, because my gosh. All right. All right. So check this out. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to go to Beetle. And we're going to need two pairs. Exactly, Drew. We're going to need two pairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. He has no pairs. What kind of Beetle is this? Every Beetle sells pairs but one. Guess which one it is. No, we don't care about the Triforce Red Lions. I am... All right. Actually, map. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> this is probably the most creative thinking I've had to use in this particular game in quite some time. Um, this game doesn't leave a lot to... problem solving. But here we are. Oh, uh, Simon, no, man. We 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 won't be able to finish the figurine quest um, until Game Plus. Because we have two that are once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, and they, they've already despawned. So we're going to have to beat this game go to New Game Plus. On New Game Plus, we're going to have to go and get the um, the two statues in question. Alright, Simon. No worries, man. We're here every morning at 8 in the morning. Real life permitting. And of course, tomorrow, guys, we are going to have the last day in the Save Shave campaign. Yeah, Zekarov, you're back for the last minute, but we're going to go just a smidgen over today because I I, uh, I really want to get that blue chew at this point because, my goodness, it is like a tricky blue chew. I mean, it, is, it gets the brain going. Come on, sell me some pears. Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, that's exactly it, man. Thank you. But thank you. Thank you. Okay, Zakharov. Why do we buy three pairs? Because we know that I have a, a tendency to really uh, be entertaining at times. You know, Link can stand here like this with a little pair on his head. Like, but I'm not that talented. I'm not that coordinated. I, I could barely keep that thing on my head. Barely keep that thing on my head. All right, and... This should be Shark Island. Yeah, it's not an easy trick. It's not an easy trick at all. All right. So, I 
We stop right here. Hey, Electron, how's it going, man? Alright, so let's, uh, okay. I think that's dialed in. Alright, so we got that dialed in. Next is this. Oh, Princess, uh, that's, that's another thing. I, I don't think theirs is easily as Digger does. Oh, thank you, Princessa. I, uh, it's one of those mugs that Digrat found me when I said I was going to be doing a morning Korok coffee, a uh, coffee-themed stream, in a sense. And she's like, well, we need to get you some mugs. All right, so here we go. Step one done. Oh, the chew survived. Are you guys seeing this? It's like the invincible super chew. Maybe we had to bomb them twice. There we go. So now we have to, before it despawns, and here's the trick, right? Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh! Guys! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Back to Beetle. This time we're gonna buy like five. Oh, gosh, gosh darn it, guys, that that is. <laughs> oh, we're gonna buy five pairs because it looks like we might have to do this a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Oh snap, that's. Yeah, that, that is. Uh, that's. Frustrating is a good word for it, Misa girl. Frustrating is a good word for it. All right, Beetle, where are you at, buddy? We're about to raid your fruit pantry, man. Beetle, prepare to be boarded. Don't run me over. Don't you know who I am? I'm the hero that seals the darkness. I got a poster, even. I got a picture of my poster. Thank you. All right, so we now have enough to try this one more time. We'll have enough to buy anymore. Let's, let's check our inventory. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking right there with you, Catwater. Oh, I think I could get two more. Thank you. Now, hookshot only works on the big trees, Princessa. The small trees, unfortunately. Oh, nope. Bye. All right. So that being that, let's just do this. Fire a bait back. Find be that way, beetle. Now apparently if you, you litter beetle's floor, he doesn't care for it. There we go. really want to have his little trips much here. And, you know, we still need the gold card with Beetle, so... Alright. Bye. Bye! Come again! We probably will. We were... Oh my gosh, guys. The fact that it, it just basically was like, 
Come on, Mag. Come on. Throws fish bait on the floor. Yep. Yep, Zekarov. Got to do what you got to do, man. All right. And that's the reason why we dialed that in first, too, because we knew we were going to need to hit that. Now that we know it's two bombs, we can fire two bombs, and as the second bomb is going through the air, I'm thinking... I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking we can go ahead and just pop the thing on our head and just go for it. So that's, that's what we're going to do this time. And since we've left the cell, the actual map square that the the choose in he should respawn. Watch you picks up the bait and sells out of the shop. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you know it. Beetle's an enterprising sort. Alright, so let's see here. I think we have to go over here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to hit it from there. Let's try this a little bit. So I think we're good there. I believe you hit all the switches will create an updraft to take you up there. Uh, Drew, actually, no. Um, the switches, there was a, uh, a pit in the middle that we had to have. I could be wrong on that, though. Let's, uh... Let's just try the, the seagull way one more time. I don't have the... This is probably going to go really bad. Come on, fly faster, fly faster, fly faster, fly... Boop. Alright. Well... Note to self. Before firing the cannon... Put the pair back in the inventory slot. You know, positioning is important. I don't disagree with that at all. But the thing is, is you have to be able to arc the, the bomb shot to get up there. I think that got it. Yes, got it. Got it. Boom. 
All right, so. Wow, is there like a... Like a treasure shimmer. Oh, okay. Woohoo! Alrighty. So now we just go on the red lion. And uh, I'm pretty sure we go to the, the chew jelly shop on Windfall Island to turn these guys in. Could be wrong. But I'd like to make sure that we at least complete this quest. I wonder who gets dizzier doing that, me or Red Lions? Red and green chew jelly too? Okay. I can do that. I got a little bit of everything in this bag. Need an empty bottle. Well, that's easy enough to do. Interesting. He looks like the Riddler from the 1960s Batman series. It's actually kind of neat. At least his eyes do. Yep, it sure did fill up the jelly there, and wow. Okay. Drink. Drink. Alright, now we go to the red. Chew jelly. Oh, way cool in dog drink. Awesome. Way to school is opening the gate to get out, got off your bike, opened the gate, then tried to get back on and fell off cutting your leg. Wow. Wow. Okay, so... What about this, buddy? So what will Blue Chew get this? Getting close to 20? Ah, no, Zagorov. I know. It's... It's just the, the completionist in me that's just, I gotta, 
We spent all stream getting this blue chew together, and I just want to get it done so we know that we can move on to something else tomorrow. Blue potion, life energy, and... Interesting, interesting. So there's the blue potion. So, oh, there's only two ju chew jelly left. All right, so, so we got the blue potion and we can buy the blue potion. Which absolutely, in my opinion, is better than the green and the, the red potion. Let's just down these. Yeah, I hadn't forgot the time. I've been mindful of it. Blue potion for that match? That that's a steal. I think we're already full up. Yep, we're already full up. Okay. Alright guys, and that's actually gonna be it for the stream. We're gonna be saving here. We got the blue chew jelly quest finished. Uh, we'll get another update from Hobbs, of course, because he is super awesome about what he's keeping tabs with. And, uh, yeah, Zekarov, James, Hobbs, of course, Sally. Um, Sally, I forgot to say good morning to you. I'm so sorry. Um, Dwy, Drew, of course, our two sponsors who came in today. Appreciate you guys being here today. Shout out to Chadley, of course, one of our family-friendly streamer friends. Hewan, who came in, Christian, Hobbs, I already said hello to, Zekarov, Princessa, a Misa girl, I'm going to get to bed, I'm going to get to bed, don't worry about it, yep, oh, thank you, thank you, Drew, and of course, super shout out to Catwater, our mod this morning, keeping everything in line for us, of course, it's easy when you guys are the ones in the chat, because it's just super awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a good night, guys. I'm going to go to bed. I got work tonight. Um, tomorrow is the last day of Save or Shave the Beard. And on Wild Card Wednesday, we'll be able to see what its fate is. All right, guys. This is Max Sink with Convertible Turtle Gaming. Have a great whatever you're going to have. And I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.